All right. Hello, everybody. This is Danielle. Say hello, hi. Hello. <laughs> Danielle is doing the first of our staff picks, so she's just going to tell you about an artifact here in the museum that she enjoys. So go ahead, Danielle. Yes. Yeah, so I would like to talk about the Amari charger behind me that's sitting on top of our player piano in our dining room. Um, this is an item, this Amari charger, it comes from the Coulderie collection, so it belonged to uh, Bertram and Cecilia Coulderie. We have a lot of their objects in the museum. Um, this charger dates to about 1700, and it's an example of Japanese Amari porcelain. So the style of it is Amari. It refers to the port in which it was shipped out of in Japan um, in the 1700s. Um, Japanese porcelain became highly, highly uh, coveted by the European market in the 1700s. So this is a great example of uh, that style of porcelain. Um, it's a beautiful piece. It underwent um, some conservation at Queen's University, sorry, at the, <laughs> at the Master of Arts program, um, a Master of Art Conservation program. Um, a student by the name of Danny Doyle uh, conserved it. In the back, it was broken, so it was held together um, in the back with some like staples and metal pieces kind of hinged over and like inserted into the porcelain in the back. Um, to hold it all together and Danny was able to remove it all um, and put the plate or the charger back together and then he completed some some in painting as well to match the paint on the actual charger so it looks good as new it doesn't look like it's undergone much conservation you can notice it a little bit in the back but it looks just perfect the way that it looked uh, when it was first made in about 1700 so that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite because it has undergone a lot of work but it's just such a beautiful piece and a great example of uh, early 1700s porcelain. Excellent. Thank you very much, Danielle. No problem.